So, um, today we're doing a sculpting video. I know that it says drawing, but so and so. Oh, cool. Okay, so what you're going to need is a hard surface. I'm going to bring you down here and keep it down here. A hard surface, some um, clay. I'm using such and such clay. Here. Whichever way was better for you. You're going to need um, a bowl of water and a butter knife. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. So I have this pebble. You can see. And then with your butter knife, you're going to bring it down. And then put that aside now then it's going to turn out to look something like this because you want this part to go down so like these edges or don't want down one well I want it to turn out something like this where it's hollow so now you're going to take those edges and you're going to press them into this thing it depends on what shape you want your shell Okay. I'm gonna take this back and mold it. So we have this shape. This is what the bowl of water is for. When you get something like this, you take the bowl of water, you carry the water over, do your fingers, and then magic <laughs> um you you're definitely going to get dirty when you sculpt so now that you have your shape sculpted, this is where your butter knife comes in handy again. Hands. If you still have water in your hands, then just rub it up like this. Okay, so now that we have this, you are going to um take this part and cut it in half ways, like so. Okay, so now you kind of have like a paw print look, and then you're going to you're going to bring it out like this. You're going to pull the top up. And make it more hollowed out. So now grab your water and simply just do this okay so now that you have that done cut your edges more out But now you're going to take this one and rip it or cut it. You're probably thinking, then, why did I do that? For many reasons. Now, if this isn't cooperating right, more water. Then just rub it and sculpt it. Within your fingers, and then it goes easy. So 
so I'll do search and search as you see me doing. Now you have this sort of look, it's kind of in a square. You're gonna do this. You want it to be thick. Just press it on there and then go back over to your water. Okay, so now you kind of have this look. Now this is where your butter knife comes in handy. You're going to swap and chop. Now you're going to take this again and then you're going to bring that and tip it over. You're going to op overlip the middle one. Right, so. Now you're going to do the same thing with all the other ones. Just for warning you, um, this stuff, this clay, when it's wet, it gets really slippery in your hands. So while you do that, I'll tell you a little bit about the clay. And um, at the end, um, I'll tell you something else. We'll be doing a special feature, if you'd call it. I guess, if I can find the stuff that I need after. So, uh, you, your clay should be really easy to work with now. So, you're going to take it, kind of do it like this. And then do this. Um, Okay, so now I'll do the other side. This stuff gets seriously whack. So, okay. 
Okay, so now you take this and you cut it halfway. Okay, so this is what your hand's going to look like. And if you have fake or just nails on, don't do this. Well, unless you like your nails junky looking for a minute. So, now that you have this all done, um, it's time for the special feature. So, your shell's done. If you want to do any extra details, such as I will do, take your butter knife and just do them. Because all shells normally have a design on them. Okay. Now time for the special feature. Um. Oh yes, the special feature. Um, one second. Special feature. Now, this is your special feature. Okay, so I've spent about 7.30, about, hmm, going to estimate about how many minutes and seconds, about... 12 minutes and 45 seconds now. So. That's my tutorial. Oh, yes. Your. Um, thing. I see sick. Got dirty hands. Okay. So I eat my cheese stick. Your stuff can drive, and I can be eating a cheese stick. So.